Hi, I'm Paul Tool to come from uh, Paul Tool to come, and um, I'm gonna show you tonight that um, the secret of my project number three, and that's um, Amiga games for the Mac. Well, um, first of all, my website got even all kind of DOS games and M6 games are working. Now the Amiga will be uh, the third project. Well, um. I need to, to say in advance there are a few couple of things so you need to know. Um, point one: um, this game uh, you won't get uh, just uh, for uh, for the uh, uh, decent game for everyone. You need to be first one a fit member. Uh, second, um, you need uh, to have an um, an proof of purchase for uh, Amiga Forever. Because uh, there are a lot of ROMs in it, so uh, I won't share it uh, unless you have uh, some proof of purchase for this one. Um, this was because um, well, Cluento uh, makes uh, uh, Amiga still alive, so uh, they need. Uh, well, I find for me it's uh, an, uh, an uh, well. Uh, it should be that they have. Uh, they will need. Oh, they get that credit for it. So there are some uh, very cheap ones uh, too. So um, well, um, first we're gonna look at it. Um, I made an um, a wrapper file. Um, it took me a lot of time, weeks and weeks, to get this uh, working properly. Um, one of the things uh, you need for this is a Windows keyboard. It looks strange, but uh, well, it sounds strange. But uh, you need a Windows keyboard, otherwise the F12 won't work. And you need the F12 for changing disk and all kind of stuff like that. So um, it's needed. So that you know that. Um, so if that one is connected, then you can uh, use this. Make make sure, of course, that in your system preferences, um, this uh, will be SAT keyboard. This will F1 to F12. Well, um, I will double click it and then you will see I even needed help from the Win, uh, Win UAA makers to get this uh, work properly. So uh, I want to say with this that it took me a lot of time and effort to get it working. But oh, it is amazing what you get back for it. So um, you are now in, uh, in the Workbench 3.1. Uh, we go to System and we go to our Games. Then uh, you can uh, uh, well go play your games like a sensible soccer. I know uh, I don't know if you know that game, but for everyone who uh, who is an Amiga, this is uh, one of the best soccer games. Uh, I have the where they load the not registered version, so um, even if you uh, uh, get this uh, wrapper with this uh, on it, you can register uh, to where they load. And then uh, well, get this working uh, the proper way. Um, well, I need print screen to end this, and of course that sure uh, it's up here or something. I think. Well, uh, let's see. Well, let's get some uh, some retro stuff. League, play league. Go to Iceland. What does? Alright. Well, I click quickly show you this. <coughs> <coughs> and then we'll hop into some other games. Because the 50 minutes are. Uh... Ah. Well, I've played this tons and tons. Sorry! Oh! Hello! Well, this is much better sound and stuff like that than DOS. Alright, this one. 
All right. Uh, well, let's go to another one. Uh, pff, well, what's more? Well, Monkey Island and Shuffle Park, Street Fighter 2, well, pff, Settlers. Uh, well, uh, the world is endless. Let's go to even to Desert Strike. Desert CD. Dick Tales. Well. So you can uh, all put your uh, ADF files using the F12. You can put your with just when you a put it into your uh, put it in here. You can. Uh, this is my uh, here. This is my uh, my uh, Mac uh, 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 desktop. So if you uh, download the ADF files, which are freely uh, available. And uh, well, if you uh, buy stuff, then you can uh, well put all those ADFs up here and put uh, just open it, and then uh, those discs will uh, will appear. For example, um, uh, where did I uh, put those on my computer? See? Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so this only can happen with a Windows keyboard. Besides that, the numlock part won't work. So I have to warn you for that. So games like uh, uh, Advanced Destroyer, which needs the needs the numlock part, uh, won't work uh, unfortunately. But uh, almost all games, uh, well, are used with uh, arrows, things uh, like that. You can even put your USB um, joystick on it. So, um, start campaign. Well, you see it all full screen. Um, you probably see it now uh, on, um, on 800, 600. But uh, the, the wrapper will automatically uh, put it on uh, put it on a right resolution full screen. Help! Over here! Sorry. See that work too. Well, um, pff, uh, all your games, what you, what you wanted to play, uh, pff, the, yeah, um, theme park, tiny troops, uh, yeah, some cool games like uh, Whiskit or something. Uh, whiz, 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 do that. Uh, strike. Whiskit. In here, a worms directly got wings of fury. I made uh, for the ones, yeah, that's maybe nice for the ones who uh, doesn't uh, who has uh, uh, seen the, the two version on my website. Um, well, and you can now see it in Then to quit. Okay. Well, I'll show it quickly because I got not much time left. I think. Well, you see now, it's very familiar. But the limits of the sky up here. Well, 
let's go now. Time's uh, running out now. Oh, no. Uh, what was it? Uh, then, uh, yeah. Anyway, I, I quit this because uh, time will be up. Oh, 11 minutes. Well, um, these are just three games I showed you. So, um, well, what I already said, uh, the sky is the limit. Play all your Amiga games again on the Mac. Um, again, uh, you need a FIP member for it. I need to proof of purchase, and then, uh, well, you can uh, enjoy those games again. So I make a new section on my website with Amiga games, and um, well, have fun with it. And uh, hope to see you back on Polotol.com. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.